latest on the coronavirus, Indiana passed the 375,000 case mark today. The state dealing with a new surge in infections with some fear that could get worse in the week ahead as we see the results of possible spread from the Thanksgiving holiday. And more than nine months into the pandemic, COVID-19 is spreading with a vengeance. It has now killed a reported 280,000 Americans. And according to Johns Hopkins University, record numbers of new cases and hospitalizations has experts warning that a dark winter may be ahead. CBS's Michael George reports. A stay at home order goes into effect on Sunday in 11 Southern California counties and 12 counties in the state's San Joaquin Valley after hospital ICU capacity fell below 15%. The order issued by Governor Gavin Newsom will remain in effect for at least three weeks. The shutdown includes Los Angeles, San Diego, Stockton, and Modesto, as most of California struggles with another destructive wave of COVID 19. Much of the San Francisco Bay Area is also going under new preemptive restrictions that affect millions of residents and businesses in five counties. People's jobs, their businesses, their livelihoods are at stake. This is going to be painful. It's going to be really difficult. I think this is going to be the, the nail in the coffin of a lot of restaurants here in San Francisco. An FDA advisory committee is set to meet Thursday to discuss emergency approval of Pfizer's vaccine. In Michigan, registered nurse Karen Whitefoot is participating in the AstraZeneca vaccine trial. I want to uh, be on the forefront of getting this virus eradicated. And in New York City, even in a pandemic, the Nutcracker holiday tradition will go on. Dancers are masked and socially distanced, tested, so we, we feel like we can pull this off safely. In Brooklyn, the audience will stand on the sidewalk while the legendary ballet is performed on the other side of the glass. It's like going to Macy's and looking at the store windows. Each abbreviated show lasts 20 minutes, featuring highlights, with no more than five dancers performing at a time. Michael George, CBS News, New York. And as he mentioned, the FDA will hold a hearing to review Pfizer's vaccine next Thursday. It's already been approved in the UK. FDA will review Moderna's version, December 17th, once a vaccine is approved, federal leaders say the first doses could be shipped out within 48 hours.